I'm Ador. And I'm Seymour. And we're here to talk a little bit about ourselves, our creative process, and the style with which we make art together. We chose the names Ador and Seymour for ourselves because we think they reflect us. And, well, we find them funny. We're basically two guys who don't take themselves too seriously, and we just really enjoy having fun while we work. We hope when people watch us paint a wall in public that they're inspired and they want to go out to do art of their own. We met each other while we were out painting. We were both really used to working in teams and quickly noticed affinities in our artwork. We both have an attraction to painting characters as opposed to lettering and quickly realized that we were able to work with four hands while keeping our styles and identities intact. With multiple artist paintings, the idea is to complement each other's style while staying as coherent as possible. Either we'll do our own drawings side by side and it works because of the colors we choose, or we completely mix elements of our individual styles in the same drawing to create one image by two artists in our case. How it actually all comes together on a wall varies from piece to piece. Sometimes Ador will come up with the idea and he takes me into his world, and other times I will come up with a sketch and we'll work off of that. Each time is different, but each wall is created with a certain natural flow. It works itself out quite organically. At times it's completely laid out on paper ahead of time because Seymour will have a set idea of what we want to do, and other times it's very spontaneous, on the wall. Either way, the important thing is that whenever we are working on a piece, both views and messages are conveyed in a way, so that the final image has a, a, a balance to it. Our two styles bounce off of one another, and when you look at a painting or drawing, your eyes should move freely throughout the composition. Whether it's on a wall or outside or hanging in a gallery, we are often asked to interpret our work. In a gallery, for example, we can look at each other's work and begin a visual dialogue about the piece. Other times for a project we may have discussed beforehand, I may share an idea with Seymour that he will interpret completely differently than the way I have been thinking about it. The final product reflects this idea and can be interpreted in many, many different ways, both by us and by the public. We aim to turn what starts off as an unfinished story into a complete project, while we bring the spectator along for the ride. It can also be the case where Ador will start a story and I will end up taking over it. And what Ador may, may have had in mind for the project will completely change. Nothing is ever set in stone. Our work happens as we go. When we exhibit our work in a gallery, however, most of the art is created quietly in a studio, with little to no influence from the outside world. But when we work on a wall, the environment always inspires the final outcome. Different ideas come to us quickly as we work. Like in China, for instance, where the sausage character came about. We were so fascinated by this object that it has been becoming a reoccurring theme in our projects, and we're certain it'll be incorporated in future pieces going forward. And the trees. The trees in Shanghai were almost non-existent, and that really stuck out in our minds. So we began to incorporate that in more of the work we did out there. Also the mountains, represented by the characters with long beaks and protruding or bulging features. Pretty much, once we have spent a little time in a city, we develop a, a general understanding of which concepts we want to incorporate. And we, we go from there. A common way of thinking becomes established between us, and we find we don't need to talk to know which direction the project will go. When we're working in a public space, we have the added benefit of the spectators. Their real-time reaction to what we're painting can help shape the story we're trying to tell. When people walk by us, they'll stop and sometimes share a personal insight about the wall or maybe the surrounding area. That's something we didn't see or think about at all before we started. For example, one day I started with the precise idea and Seymour had one along with it. The spectator who was observing us work stood there and just said, appetizer, entree, and dessert. This was something that had not even crossed our mind. And all of a sudden the project just made sense and the story continued on with that theme in mind. More interpretations lead to more complex stories, and in turn, we are able to reach a larger audience. The spectator reacts to things we hadn't even thought of. We really, really enjoy that aspect of our work. Everyone has their own understanding and interpretation, and it's fun for us to play with those ideas and incorporate what we can into the final product. As storytellers, we are always tied into our surroundings. The environment and the encounters which we have within that environment shape the work which we do there. For instance, now in Los Angeles, 
We like to play with the allure and the mythological qualities of Hollywood and let that come alive in our work. Including ourselves in the storytelling and the mockery is an important aspect for us. We joke, we like to make fun, and we enjoy laughing with the world. We're all actors in games we play, on and off walls. Sometimes we play out characters we draw in real life, and other times the characters we draw influence who we are in real life. So, the masks. Why the masks? You, the pigeon. And you, the horse. I think that these are two protagonists that are going to come back again and again. Qui menage sa montre. <laughs> it's a continuation of our artwork that expresses parades and costumes and imaginary scenes. For us, the masks are a logical extension of that work. It's a way for us to include ourselves in the mockery and the storytelling aspect. It's like we are characters inside of that little comical, satirical world we created. When we put on the masks, Ador and Seymour come alive and join in the parade of caricature. We play and we clown around in a world that's constantly changing according to our moods, weather, location, and state of mind.